Well, a canvas is the traditional playground for an artist to create a masterpiece, but recently artists in the area have been trying their brushes on brick and mortar. Our Parker King has been touring some of the new murals being seen in Starkville and has more. Murals are sweeping the country. If you visit any city right now, you'll notice that there are people painting murals all over the town. So Starkville thought they'd look into giving some of their walls a makeover. It all started with the basketball mural on the side of restaurant Tyler. And now murals are starting to be a common sight across the city. The latest addition, the Welcome to Fabulous Stark Vegas sign. We selected the mill, Bin 612, Bulldog, of course, Mississippi State Stadium, and the chapel. Artist Deborah Mansfield has painted 14 murals in West Point and was contacted to bring her talents to Starkville. And she enjoys the difference her work brings. They add a lot of personality. They can uh, bring out the history of a building or the history of people that live in the town. They add so much. They add whimsy and fun and just a spot of color to an otherwise drab wall. Putting an image this size takes specific planning. Mansfield has free handed some, but this one took careful planning. Well, I used the grid method. Um, when I came up with the sketch and it was approved by the client, I then make it at a scale that I can work from on paper, put a grid on it, and then I replicate that grid onto the wall, and it's kind of like a connect the dots. And residents seem to be finding uses for these murals other than just looking at them. A backdrop for people to take their uh, photographs. In Starkville, Parker King, WCBI News. And these murals like that Stark Vegas sign can take hundreds of hours to complete.